Hello everybody, this is I am 001 EFNI. Um, I got some requests to do a video of some of the videotic props. I don't think that's a word, but that's all I could think of. Um, so, first we have Nero's gun from Abrams' new movie, which is the Ruby's version, but I decided to make it different. Out of the light. Repainted it to what it should look like, or close to it. It's gold, silver. Sorry about the camera. I can't find my camera, so I'm using a camera phone. Um, here we have Sporax, wonderful Wrath of Khan communicator. If you're questioning about getting one of these, I would highly suggest it. It needs to be polished. Sorry about all the fingerprints. Probably not supposed to flick it open that much, but... Uh, Nonetheless, it's amazing. So, if you can get one, get on it. They're amazing. Um, here's the uh, hand scanner to the Stapleton tricorder, which I added a little light in. Thought it would make it more interesting. Uh, finally finished this. This is the um, Playmates tricorder upgrade from um, GM Props. Need the clear piece, so. Graphics. It's that guy. Also the uh, end game tricorder. This is a great uh, kit too. If you can get on that, um, GM Props makes some some awesome stuff. So it's that guy. Uh, this now. I know what everybody thinks about the Playmates stuff from the new movie, but if you if you work at it, they can be decent. So I made that, so it just stays on. It still has the stupid voice clips. So that's how that works. Pretty neat. Um, this I thought was cool. This is an all metal hypo spray I got at Starland. And the magnet came off, but it's in there and like that. And it's hard to do. And then this is a tube that was for solder, but I thought it would work well in this. And I put a magnet in that, and it's purple liquid. You can't really see it very well, but it's kind of neat. Um. This is a dustbuster phaser, obviously. With um, if you look on eBay, you'll see elect. There's a guy who makes the little bar graph electronics, and that's what I'm pretty sure that's in here. I modified it a bit. Get that, and get your firing. So, no sounds. It's primitive. I was gonna replace it with GM props um, electronics, but I got have to send those back. There's a problem with them, but. Like I said, can't say good enough enough good things about GM props. That guy's awesome. But um, yeah. Oh, look if I can get this work. Oh man, it came off. This is his um, uh, his Enterprise Communicator Electronics, and they work just like the Federation surplus ones. Uh, if you watch, the bar graph should move. Should move. Should move. Move. Oh, there it goes. So that's pretty neat. Uh, the battery meter works too. It goes up or it goes down as you deplete it. Um, so yeah, not much to say about that. Okay, what else we got here? Um, this is kind of cool. When I got it, I was really excited, but now I kind of hate it. But because it's not really like the movie one. This is Judge Dredd's gun. <laughs> from Judge Dredd, the movie version, and it shoots. It's got a aluminum barrel here, and it lights up, but that's pretty much it. I had hoped to make it a lot cooler someday, but we'll see. I wish Blaster Core would make more than Blaster Cores, because his was really awesome. Yeah. Oh, getting down there. This is one of my favorite props. This is a boomerang phaser, rod.com. But it's been enhanced with this electronics from, I can't think of his name, but 
Um, this guy makes some sweet stuff. So turn it on. Generic fire. And then you can go. And just stays on. And you got. So that's pretty cool. I love that. And the overload sound is really cool. So. And last but not least, what I've gotten requests for is this beauty. This is the. Um, Rod.com Star Trek 3 Phaser, and um, I've enhanced it with Wrath of Khan electronics. I still need to work it better to make the sound sound better, maybe put some holes in it or something. I haven't gotten to the point where I can do, have put the metal contacts in so when you plug it in it makes that <laughs> noise or however you want to do it, but anyway, it needs a little, little work still, but you can, I hope you can hear it. Um turns on. Works just like the uh, DST one. Can you hear that? Um, that? Those were the two lights on the upper right corner that alternated are there now. Um, but it's got everything. Like I said, it needs to be tweaked a little more. There's... Just push down the thing. Like I said, it needs to be tweaked more, but um, hopefully it should be all good eventually. Yeah, we can make it overload by just pressing the one button. Yeah, see. Oh well. But like I said, it's it's still kind of a work in progress, but I've always wanted a working rod.com phaser, and now I kind of have one. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Better put it down. We're all gonna die. Again, sorry about the sound. I'll hopefully make it better someday. And then this... Since I haven't been able to, I haven't done the connectors yet, what I did is I took one of those recording sound modules and I tried to get the um, sound from the Star Trek 3 phaser. It didn't work as well as I'd hoped and I need to re-record it, but that's kind of what it's supposed to sound like. Hopefully you can hear it. And I took the wire that showed it was playing, or the LED that showed it was playing, and made it the firing tip. So it needs some work, but um, hopefully it'll be it'll be cool someday. <laughs> um, uh, I can't think of his name. The the guy I actually already got this one put together. Um, but he did a great job, and I love the paint job on it. Um. And I had to hollow out this guy and do stuff on this one, but um, I don't know. I love this phaser. I think everybody likes this phaser. Well, most people do. I don't get this, though. The... What is with this? Ugh. Anyway, so those are my videoed props. Um, I'm also working on a Hero E-Mini R7 disruptor, which... Um, I, there's these generic toys at Toys R Us that have the exact sound the Klingon Disruptor makes, so um, I'm putting electronics in that. Um, probably have a lot of other things to talk about, but that's pretty much it. This is the only ever time I've ever talked in my videos, so give what you can of my voice. I always thought it sounded good, and um, have a good evening, day, whatever time it is. So thanks much.